now on the inside in the 15. Chuck Gainey to his outside in the 33. Then it's Miravito in the 48. Billy Ryder in the 14. And David Sandy Lee in the 10. Green flag set to fly. Takes for a loader. Dash number one is underway. Duval and Daney side by side through turns one and two. Down low now. Duval gets the advantage in the car number 15. Here comes Billy Ryder in the 14. Ryder, his first appearance of the 2015 campaign, looking strong in car number 14. Good battle at the front of the field. Chuck Daney hanging tough on the outside groove in car number 33. Ryder's right there in the 14. Now on the outside groove, Chuck Daney starting to get the advantage in car number 33. He's in the lead lap number two now. Give the lead to Chuck Daney in the 33. Daney takes the lead from Duval. Now Duval's going to have to deal with the 14 of Billy Ryder. Ryder in car number 14 is looking really fast on the outside groove now. Ryder now goes to the top side on Duval. Duval trying to fight hard down low. Give the second spot to Sandown, New Hampshire driver, Billy Ryder. Now Duval on the 15th, fighting back down low. Goodhart racing for the second spot. Ryder has sole possession of spot number two on the racetrack now. Going to try to hunt down new leader, Chuck Daney. Daney in car number 33, got a good jump to the outside. Now he's going to have to deal with the 14 car of Billy Ryder. This time by five down, five remain. Fair leader, Chuck Daney. Daney goes up the racetrack that time. Ryder is right there in car number 14. Ryder applying heavy pressure to the back bumper of Chuck Daney now down the back straightaway. Ryder looked low, got better, but Daney's able to hang on to the lead. This time by. Four laps remain for your leader, Chuck Daney. Daney doing a nice job, but Billy Ryder's looking for a way by. Ryder once again is looking to the bottom side on Chuck Daney, but Daney holds him up. Battle for the third spot now. Duval the 15 and David Sandy Lee in car number 10. Now we got a battle for the lead. Contact between your leaders and the 14 of Billy Ryder. Gets into the bumper of the 33 of Daney and sends him around. Caution flag on the speedway. So Billy Ryder was being kind of patient with the 33 of Daney. And Billy Ryder in car number 14 will head to the rear for his involvement with Chuck Daney. Track safety crews now on Ryder. To the rear. And there he goes, he's gonna go to the rear of the field. And we'll get this one back underway. A little anxious that time for Billy Ryder in the 14, but that's okay, it's only a qualifying race. That gives a lead back to the 15 of Duval. All right, next time by, we're gonna get Tingsboro Motor Dash number one back underway. Seven laps in the books, three remain. Duval on the inside of the 15, and David Sandy Lee in car number 10 to his outside. Mirabito in the third spot, Chuck Daney fourth, and Billy Ryder in the 14. Rounds out the field as they run. back underway. David Lee now on the outside groove gets the jump on Duval. Give the lead to car number 10, David Sandy Lee. Duval trying to fight back. Not going to happen. Lee's got the lead and Lee's got the two-to-go signal this time by from your leader, Chief Starter Mike Walker. Chuck Daney now trying to get by Duval for the second spot. Daney getting the pressure again once again from Billy Ryder in the 14th car. White flag in the air this time by one more trip around for your leader, Sandy Lee. Duval hanging on to the second spot. Chuck Daney third, fourth rider, and fifth is Frank Mirabito. This time by checkered flag in the air. First time out, 2015, and takes Tinsborough Motor Dash number one, David Sandy Lee. Second will go to Duval, third to Chuck Daney, fourth to Billy Ryder, and Mirabito rounds out your field in car number 48. Tingsboro Dash number two for the Allen's Outlaws rolls onto the speedway next. Quite the story for the 09 of Eric Sands tonight. Sands blew a motor in practice. He's not in the, back into the pits yet, but the team went home. They're going to change the motor and be back for feature time. But the Outlaws 
green flag set to fly. Take for a motor dash number two. Ten laps of distance. Green flag in the air. We're underway. And Trillo gets the jump on Ronnie Bolduck, but Bolduck's not going to be fooled for long. On the outside group now. Side by side for lead down the back straightaway. Keep an eye on the bulldozer. Ron Bolduck on the top side. And Trillo down low. Teammates battling out for the top spot. Take for a motor dash number two. Now Barry Raymond is right there in the 27, able to fill the hole underneath Bolduck. Good hard racing on the front of the field and heat race number two for the Allen's Outlaws. Ben Trillo at the point in car number 94. Now he's going to have to deal with sand down New Hampshire driver Barry Raymond in car number 27. The rocket Rob McRae now goes underneath Bolduck. Bolduck falling behind on the outside groove in car number 95. Up front, Ventrillo still doing a nice job. Sideways exiting turn number four that time for the 94 of Ventrillo. Barry Raymond right on the rear bumper in car number 27. And then third spot now belongs to the 52 of Ron McRae. Bolduck back to fourth. George Maroon rounds out the field in the 26 car. Up front, Barry Raymond shadowing Ventrillo all the way around the quarter mile star speedway. Raymond hasn't touched him yet, but Raymond might start getting impatient in car number 27. Will he look to the outside group? This time by five down, five to go for your leader Ventrillo. Now Raymond looks to the outside group. Ventrillo pushed him up the racetrack. Raymond had to back out of that one, or that could have been another messy situation on the front stretch here at Star. This time by four laps remain. Fear leader Methuen, Massachusetts driver Joey Ventrillo in car number 94. Barry Raymond now looks a little scared to go to the outside groove with Ventrillo. Raymond's got the car to beat in car number 27, it looks like, but Ventrillo doing a nice job on the bottom side, holding him off for the moment. Three laps remain this time by for Ventrillo. Now Raymond sets up for the outside groove, battle for the lead. Sand down New Hampshire driver Barry Raymond in car number 27 goes to the top side on Joey Ventrello. Ventrello fighting hard down low this time by two laps for me. Who's it going to be? Pink Thrill Motor dash number two. Two to go. That time at the line it was the 27th of Barry Raymond by a bumper cover. Through one and two. Ventrello pulls alongside. Good hard racing in Pink Thrill Motor dash number two. White flag in the air this time by Raymond trying to get sole possession of the lead. At the line he has it. Give it to Barry Raymond. Through turn one and two and down the back straightaway for the final time. Now Barry Raymond on a sand down in car number 27. Got to pick up the checker flag in Tingsboro Motor. Dash number two. Barry Raymond is your winner. Second to Leonard Mitchell. Third to Robin Craig. Fourth for the 95 of Ron Holder. And rounding out your field will be the 26th of George Maroon. So that concludes our qualifying rounds. We'll move to feature time now. All right, before we get the feature events racing, we're going to do our Strictly Stock fan meet and greet, 10-minute fan meet and greet. So if you want to go down to the racetrack and meet your favorite driver, 